Hey guys, Nikki here, and today we're going to be preparing my version of a vegetarian red sauce lasagna that's packed with tons of veggies. You got yellow onion, you have mushroom, you got bell pepper, and you got spinach. For our meat substitute today, we're going to be featuring the Beyond Meat Products. So if you are interested in seeing how we create this gooey, delicious, flavorful, packed, red sauce lasagna then stay tuned all right guys so this is a general overview of all the ingredients that you will need to create your vegetarian red sauce lasagna as i have here so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start chopping up our veggies soon and feel free to remove or add anything you do or don't want in your lasagna so right now we are grabbing a yellow onion we're gonna get chopping and then i'll come back to you after all our veggies are done Now let's go ahead and boil our noodles. Before we started chopping our veggies, I had water going on the stove top so it would be nice and ready by the time we were done chopping. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start chopping up our Beyond Meat sausages. I took out three, as you can see here, but I'm definitely not gonna use three. I'm gonna put one of these back because two was more than sufficient, I felt like. Um, but be careful, light pressure when you're cutting. As you can see, some of the pieces started breaking up on me. It's really, really soft, so. Um, and then our Beyond Meat ground beef, we're going to go ahead and put this into the skillet with a little bit of onion and pepper uh, left over. I purposely did that and we're going to go ahead and start adding all our seasonings guys.
So all we're gonna do here is get our tomato sauce together. So I'm using a four total cups of whatever your choice, your preference of tomato sauce. And I'm using one six ounce can of tomato paste. Um, you can use six ounces or 12 ounces. Sometimes I alternate, it's really up to you. Then I'm putting in my fresh uh, tomatoes that we chopped up. And we're gonna add some parsley, y'all and some garlic and herb seasoning. Give that a good mix, and then we're gonna combine that with our meat mixture. All right, so after we combine our sauce and meat, we're gonna go ahead and place that back on the stove top to simmer while we get our ricotta mixture together. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and work on our ricotta mixture. So you'll need 30 ounces of whole fat ricotta cheese. You're gonna need one egg, salt to taste, one eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. I know, sounds so crazy, right? But yes, I promise you, nutmeg. Then you're gonna also need two cups of chopped spinach and some parsley, girl. So go ahead and Put all those ingredients in that bowl and combine, start whipping it up. And then we're gonna go ahead and get started on assembly, y'all. So why I really did not realize I left that one little square empty. That is so bothering me now that I'm watching this after the fact, y'all. Like, had I realized when I was doing it, I would have ripped a little piece of one of the extra sheets of freaking noodles that I had left over. I had like a million noodles left over. <sighs> Anyways, <laughs> back to the program, y'all.
all right guys and you see i have some fresh oregano and some fresh basil um for the last five minutes of cooking time you want to pull the lasagna out take the foil off sprinkle your chopped basil and oregano over the top of it pop it back in the oven and let it cook for the last five minutes all right y'all so we have our lasagna out of the oven just took it out the oven maybe about two minutes ago uh, we're gonna go ahead and let this sit uh, a good rule of thumb is definitely let your lasagna sit for at least 15 minutes if you can help it because when you go to cut into it if it's hot it's gonna fall all over the place so let it sit so you don't have a mess on your hands and after 15 minutes i'll come back i'll cut a slice and show y'all what we working with all right guys all right guys so we are done and this is the end result so hopefully you guys go out try this recipe um make sure you like the video definitely subscribe if you're not already so you can join the fam hit that post notification bell so you can stay notified every time your girl posts a new recipe video and until next time i will catch you guys in the next one bye